Hey guys, in today's video we're going to see the story called The Son of Frieza. Goku felt the evil key approaching the Earth, but what he doesn't know is that his current power won't be enough to defeat Ize. But the son of Frieza doesn't know either Goku and they will have a new transformation, the Super Saiyan 10. This is the maximum power of the warrior race and you can see everything here in this incredible episode. So grab a bucket of popcorn and your soda and come with me and of course don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. Well without further ado, let's get started. After Frieza's humiliating defeat at the hands of Brawly, Frieza, as he left planet Earth, promised that he would take revenge not only on Goku, but on Brawly as well. Now and out of space. Currently, it was possible to see Frieza sitting on his throne inside his ship. He was thinking of a way to get revenge on the Saiyans, not only that Frieza wanted to have an ally, because the more Goku fought against new enemies, the more allies he had, and this made it very difficult for Frieza to have his revenge. Frieza thought, I need something to help me face those Saiyans and their friends. But what could I have to help me? Thought Emperor Frieza, who was still trying to figure out some way to defeat the Saiyans at once. The counselor said, Mr. Frieza, are you okay? You've been kind of pensive since the day we left, planet Earth, said Frieza's counselor, worried about his lord. Frieza said, it's no big deal. I'm just thinking of a way for me to defeat those damn Saiyans at once. I'd even like to have an ally by my side, but it didn't work out said Frieza with anger and disgust at the Saiyans, mainly Brawly, who had humiliated him in their last encounter on planet Earth. Counselor said, I have an idea, sir, speaks to the woman, attracting Frieza's attention, who then turns around and faced her. Frieza said, Then tell me your advice, your great idea. Normally your ideas and advices are good, so tell me, said Frieza to the woman, who after having her lord's attention, soon started talking about her idea. Counselor said, Simple, my lord. You want a way to defeat the Saiyans, and at the same time, you want an ally by your side to be able to have more power, don't you? Asked the counselor to Frieza. Frieza said, That's right. Do you have any ideas? Asked Emperor Frieza, already understanding where the woman was going. Counselor said, Instead of looking for an ally, why don't you create one yourself artificially? If you use your DNA, you could create a son. He would have your strength or even surpass you, said the woman, causing Emperor Frieza to be very surprised and at the same time, very happy. Frieza said, that's it. An artificially created son of mine would be amazing. He'd have my strength and he'll help me finish those damn Saiyans once and for all, said Frieza, very excited, enough to get up from his throne. The counselor said, my lord, if you have the DNA of any of those Saiyans, you could give it to your son. That way, he would get stronger during combat, and that way he could be the perfect weapon of destruction, and easily the Lord can defeat those Saiyans, said the counselor to Frieza. That upon hearing this, she gave a wide smile of pure happiness and excitement. After all, now he would create a being with the fusion of DNA of his and that of the Saiyans. Frieza said once again, you've proved to me that you are someone useful to me, advisor. Creating a child of mine artificially with my DNA and Son Goku's DNA giving him the power of a Saiyan. In that way, he will be the most powerful weapon in the entire universe. And maybe in the future, he will become so powerful to a point of facing a god of destruction and maybe even kill him. Spoke Frieza very excited with his new plan to defeat the Saiyans in the future and Beerus, the god of destruction of Universe 7. The counselor said, I'm happy to be useful to Master Frieza. Should I send our scientists on one of the planets you conquered to start the new project? And by the way, what would his name be? Said the counselor to Frieza, who had been thinking about her son's name for some time. Frieza said, Ize. His name will be Ize. Now tell all our smartest scientists to focus on the project, the project Ize. He should have top priority and have them combine my DNA and the DNA of Saiyan Son Goku spoke Frieza in a stern tone to his counselors. The counselor spoke, Your wish is our command, Master Frieza, said the counselor leaving the room and leaving Frieza alone in the place who sat on his throne as he looked outside and saw his soldiers who were conquering other planets. Frieza thought, I never thought about becoming a father in all my life, but now I'm really looking forward to being a father. I'll have a son and he'll help me get revenge on those damn Saiyans once and for all. I'll train him and in the future after I kill Son Goku, he and I will kill Beerus. 
and so I will become the new god of destruction of Universe 7. And finally, all this universe will be mine. Frieza thought as he watched all the destruction his soldiers were doing, and it only made him more and more excited. On planet Earth, Currently on planet Earth, it was possible to see all its residents resting and enjoying all the peace in the place. Even more so, a certain Saiyan and his friends after all. They'd finally just defeated the evil dragons. Beings that were so powerful that Goku and Vegeta had to awaken a new transformation. Being the Super Saiyan 4, a transformation that brings the true form of the Saiyans in their purest and most powerful form. So much so that in this form they surpassed the power of Ultra Instinct Son Goku and Vegeta's superior ego. And after finally, Goku and his friends had defeated the evil dragons, they could now rest easy. But what none of them knew was that a new enemy was starting to emerge. An enemy as powerful as even Goku and Vegeta in their new transformations would be able to defeat such an enemy. Goku said, Hey Vegeta, did you feel that too? Saiyan asked his friend and rival as he held his granddaughter Pan in his arms, as she was already five years old. Vegeta said, if you're talking about a strange feeling, yes, I felt it too. And I'm sure it must have something to do with the damn Frieza, said the Saiyan Prince to Goku while he was with his daughter, Bra, in his arms, which just like Pan, was five years old currently. Bulma said, This Frieza didn't give up, did he? Speaks Bulma, approaching the two Saiyans. Chi Chi said, It doesn't matter. After all, if he tries anything, Goku will defeat him again, said Goku's wife, entering the conversation. Goku said, that's right, and I'm sure Frieza won't try anything for now. After all, he tried to use Brawly to defeat us a little while ago, but now Brawly is on our side, so he wouldn't be so stupid to try face us for now, said the Saiyan looking at his friend soon. Bulma said, wow, am I the only one who thinks it's kind of weird when Goku says something smart? Said the woman in a joking tone with the Saiyan's face. Chi Chi said, it's not just you, not friend. Even though I like Goku a lot, I have to agree with you, Bulma. Vegeta said, but in the end, Kakaroto is right. Even if Frieza attacks now, we wouldn't defeat him easily. And even if he trains to get stronger, we just have to train even more, said the Prince of Saiyans in a proud way of show strength. Goku said, that's right. Now we both have our new transformation, Super Saiyan 4. Now we just have to train to master it 100%, said the Saiyan while looking at the sky. Seven years later. Seven years had passed since the day that Frieza project was started, and on a well-developed planet in terms of technology, the research center that was where the project Ize was being developed, and finally after seven years the project was completed. Scientists said, Chief Advisor, can you let Master Frieza know that the project Ize is complete? One of the local scientists spoke through a holographic screen. The counselor said, How is he? Did everything go well at his birth? The woman asked the scientist. The scientist said he's not born yet, but from our data, he's very healthy and very well. And even though he wasn't born yet, he already has gigantic power. So don't worry, the scientist said to the counselor. The counselor said, Master Frieza will be very happy with this news, said the counselor right away, hanging up the call. Now it was possible to see in a room a type of capsule and inside it, there was a being that would be Frieza's son, Ize, who soon opened his eyes. We start off on the planet of Frieza, currently on the planet where the project was being made that's Ize, Frieza's artificial son, after years of taking care of the project. Finally, he was ready to be born, and this is something that Frieza had been waiting for for years. Scientist number one said, finally, after seven long years of research, the Ize project is ready. So everyone must be ready because probably in the next few hours or days, Emperor Frieza's son will be born. And so I want you to be aware and prepared for his birth. The scientist while looking at some Frieza soldiers who are in charge of protecting Frieza's son. Scientist number two said, That's right. As he is the son of Lord Frieza, he will probably want to battle to test his powers. So look for some planets so he can go and release his powers. And if possible, look for a good planet for my lord Ize Master, for his power to conquer his first planet. Speaks the second main scientist of the Ize project to the soldiers in front of him. The soldier said, that's what we're going to do. We're going to look for a planet with a great enough fighting power for lord Ize to release his power, which must be immense, since he's the son of Emperor Frieza. Said the soldier, more fright, 
from the other soldiers to the two scientists. On Frieza's spaceship, the counselor spoke. Mr. Frieza, I just received a report from Chief Scientist of Planet 127 where your son Ize is being raised, said the woman while looking at Frieza who was sitting on his throne. Frieza said, What's the news? I hope everything is going well, and I hope nothing bad has happened to my son, said Frieza while looking at his counselor. The counselor said, Nothing bad happened to your son, Lord Frieza. On the contrary, Lord Ize is already very well developed and will probably be born in a few hours or days. He will be born and so I would like to ask if we would continue exploring and dominating new planets or should we go to Plant 127 so you can meet your son? The woman asked Lord Frieza, who was very pleased with the news given by his counselor. Frieza said, after seven long years of waiting, finally my son will be born. So at his birth, I want you to send him to a high-level planet because I want to see his strength and this will be good for him. So he learns to master his future planets. Emperor Frieza spoke with a smile on his face. The counselor said, yes sir, but now that he is about to be born, what are you going to do? The woman asked Frieza, who placed his hand on her chin, showing that he was thinking about it. Frieza said, after he dominates his first planet, I will train him for one year, and after that one year, I will teach him everything he should know about combat and key control. And after two years, when he's ready, I and he will go to planet Earth, and the two of us will kill those damn Saiyans, said Frieza, already preparing his plans with his son Ize. Frieza thought, after years of fighting those Saiyans, I will finally have someone by my side as strong as I am, if not even stronger, and I, with the help of my son Ize, will finally be able to kill Goku, and then I will kill Vegeta. And after follow those two, I will dominate planet Earth. After all this, I will go after the only other Saiyan, Brawly, and I will eliminate him too. Emperor Frieza thought as he remembered his main objective to have started the Ize project. On planet Earth. It was currently possible to see Goku and Vegeta, who were training in their Super Saiyan transformations in the middle of the ocean, while their wives Chi Chi and Bulma were talking to each other, enjoying a well deserved barefoot for the two women. Chi Chi said, Goku and Vegeta are taking this training very seriously, isn't it, Bulma? Bulma said, That's because this is the first time you've seen the two of them fighting, but I'm even used to these two fighting at their intensity said the woman while looking at Goku and Vegeta who were training. Chi Chi said, Well, that's true, but those other two are learning from them and it worries me a little, said the woman while looking away and seeing Bra and Pan who were training just like Goku and Vegeta. Bulma says, Looks like those two are learning a lot from Goku and Vegeta, but we can't do anything in the end. After all, they're both Saiyans too, and so in the end they'll always have that will to fight. Bulma said while looking at her daughter facing her best friend, Pan. Chi Chi said, Really? But I'm glad we're in a time of peace without any enemies or someone wanting to dominate our planet like those evil dragons, said the woman while sighing for her granddaughter to be so similar to her grandfather, Son Goku. Bulma said, Well, that's true, but we can't keep saying that. After all, saying it out loud brings bad luck. But now it's better to call everyone to eat said the woman, immediately taking herself and then calling Goku and Vegeta for them to go eat, while Chi Chi called Bra and Pan. Soon the four Saiyans went to the table and soon started to eat everything that was in front of them, and after a few minutes Goku and Vegeta will feel something that did not please them at all. Vegeta said, Kakaroto, you felt that key, didn't you? The prince of the Saiyans asked seriously to Goku who was also serious, and Goku said yes, that key looks like Frieza's, but strangely, it looks like a Saiyan too. But precisely my key, said the Saiyan, while concentrating on feeling the key of that individual who had a key similar to Frieza and Goku. Bulma said, What happened, Goku? Asked the curious woman about what had happened to make Goku and Vegeta so serious. Goku said, I don't know. I just know it's not a good thing, and I'm sure Frieza has something to do with it said the Saiyan seriously to the people at the table. Pan said, But that doesn't matter, does it? After all, Daddy always said that Grandpa Goku, every time that Frieza tried to do something bad, he was defeated by Grandpa. Bra said, 
Even if Goku couldn't defeat this insect, my father could definitely do that. After all, he's the strongest in the entire universe, said Vegeta's daughter, something that made Bulma observe her daughter for being so similar with Vegeta. Pan said, If he's that strong, why is it always my grandfather who defeats the most powerful enemies? The girl said showing off about her grandfather being the strongest, and soon the two started to argue who was the strongest grandfather, Goku or Vegeta. Vegeta said, Looks like Frieza is going to do something again, but this time I feel like it's going to be very different from anything he's ever tried to do before, said the Prince of Saiyans to Goku as they both looked up to the sky. Goku said, I'm feeling it too, but the worst thing is that I don't think even the two of us together at our maximum power will be able to win this fight, so we should prepare for the battle because I feel that it turns faster than imagine ourselves, Saiyan said seriously while clenching his fists. On planet 127, it had been a few hours since the moments the scientists made the report to Emperor Frieza, but inside the laboratory, an alarm started beeping non-stop. Scientist. Everyone get out because Lord Ize was finally born! One of the scientists spoke to everyone at the science base and soon some soldiers went to the room where the Ize project was being done. In that room, it was now possible to see a being similar to Frieza coming out of a capsule. This being Ize, the son of Frieza who had been born. Ize said, finally, I was born and now like my father, I will dominate this entire universe said Ize with a smile identical to his father, Frieza. Now on planet 127. Currently on the planet where the Ize project was developed, it was possible to see several soldiers and scientists walking around desperately after all Ize, the son of Frieza, was finally born, and he was now leaving the room where his capsule was. A soldier said, Sir Ize, we are all happy for your birth, including your father, Lord Frieza. One of the soldiers spoke in front of Ize. Ize said, where is my father? Asked Frieza's son to the soldier in front of him. The soldier said, your father is in space, inside a ship near this universe, but he sent you a message. This made Ize curious. Ize said, did my father send me a message? And what is this message? Ize stood looking at the soldier who took his scouter and gave it to Ize because the message was inside the scouter. The message from Frieza, my son, Ize, happy focus that you were finally born. In case you are wondering why I'm not there on your birthday, it's because I'm preparing a planet to train you. After all, you are my son, and that's why I know that you will be someone very strong. And just like me, you will someday surpass me. Just like I surpassed my father, King Cole. So I hope you get stronger. If you need anything, just talk to the soldiers or scientists and they'll do what you say said Frieza in the voice recording on the scouter that Ize was using. Ize said, So that's what my father is doing right now. Well, I can't say anything. After all, I'm really looking forward to testing my strength, said Ize while clenching his fist looking forward to a battle. The soldier said, Just as Lord Frieza said, We will do what you wish, Lord Ize. So if you want, I can look for a planet with great fighting power, so you can test your strength if you want," said the soldier while looking at his emperor's son. Ize said, It's not a bad idea. I accept. Look for a planet with a high level of fighting power, and that is not ruled by my father. On this planet I will test my strength, and it will be my first planet that I will go rule, Ize said as he looked at his father's soldier, who was kneeling in front of him. The soldier said, I will do this immediately, sir. In fact, the scientists asked me to tell you that they want to do some tests on you to see how you are, said the soldier getting up and leaving the place. But before the same, getting out of Ize's sight, the same calls him. Ize said, before you go, when you come back, bring me a cold drink. Staying in the capsule made me very thirsty, said Ize to the soldier. The soldier said, yes, sir, I will do what you have commanded immediately said the soldier leaving the place quickly to carry out the orders of his new lord. Ize said, Now that I am finally born, I'd like to fight those Saiyans, but I'm still weak compared to those two, Vegeta and Goku. But my DNA runs the power of my father Frieza and that Saiyan son Goku, so I have great chances of having inherited the characteristics of the Saiyans with it. 
I will be able to become the most powerful being in the entire universe. And when I am strongest, I will defeat that God of Destruction and I will be the new God of Destruction. And I will rule all the universes. Ize spoke as he thought about his future and what he would be like. Now on Frieza's spaceship. Counselor said, So Mr. Frieza, are his plans going the way you wanted? The woman asked Frieza, who was sitting on his throne while watching the outer space. Frieza said, Yes, everything is going the way I wanted, but now I have to train Ize. Even though he was born in a gigantic power, he's still weak to defeat the Saiyans and myself. After all, I just like those two Saiyans. We have much great power that they reach the level of deities. So for him to be really useful to me, I have to train him to stay on the same level. And when that happens, he can finish off those damn Saiyans once and for all. And when that happens, there won't be anyone who can stop us," said Frieza with a smile on his face, already imagining himself killing Son Goku with his bare hands, while his son did the same with Vegeta. The counselor said, But Mr. Frieza, do you think Mr. Ize can achieve this fighting power in just two years of training? asked the woman to Frieza. Frieza says, I don't think. I'm sure he can do it. After all, he is my son, and he also has the cells of a Saiyan, something that will make him someone so powerful with a gigantic key level, and that way he can evolve during their fights. Since this is one of the characteristics of the Saiyans, and that's how I was defeated every time by those insects, and that's why I believe that my son in just two years will be as strong as I am, Frieza said convinced of what he spoke to be the truth. The counselor said, if you think that, who am I to disagree? But Mr. Frieza, during these two years, are you just going to train easy or are you going to train to get even stronger than before? Asked the woman to Frieza. Frieza said, I will train easy, but I will also train. After all, Goku and Vegeta became even stronger with each passing day and released even more transformations. So if I want to have the chance to defeat those two, I have to train, also to be able to reach another level of power. Emperor Frieza said while looking at his counselor. The counselor said, That's true. From what our spy said, Goku and Vegeta ended up awakening a new transformation during the fight against some enemies called evil dragons, beings that will be born from the negative energy accumulated in the Dragon Balls, said the woman while looking to Frieza who upon hearing this became curious. Frieza said, So the evil energy accumulated from the Dragon Balls ended up creating beings so powerful that they forced Goku and Vegeta to gain a new transformation. What a pity. I knew if only now I could have offered a place in my army to these evil dragons. Frieza said while sighing at having missed the opportunity to have strong allies by his side. Now with Ize. After a few hours of doing test to test, Ize's physical and mental health finally, all these tests were over and Ize was now having a cold drink while waiting for some of his father's soldiers to take him to some planets with powerful warriors. After a few minutes, finally a soldier appeared. The soldier said, Lord Ize, we found a planet with a power level almost similar to yours. The planet has great resources and that's why scientists said it would be a great planet for you to dominate. And if you manage to do that, you will have abundant manpower and resources for free," spoke one of Frieza's soldiers, kneeling before Ize's presence. Ize said, Finally, I was getting tired of waiting. Go and gather some soldiers and some scientists and prepare a spaceship for me. We will go to this planet immediately, Ize ordered the soldier who soon got up. The soldier said, Yes, Lord Ize, I will prepare the soldiers and your spaceship immediately. It will take around one hour to finish the preparations. Until then, rest your forces, my lord, said the soldier, soon withdrawing the fangs to do what was ordered to you. Ize said, finally, I will be able to fight against someone and discharge my energies accumulated inside me. I don't know, but maybe it's the Saiyan cells inside me that's making me want to fight so much. This will be the beginning of my empire, an empire which will be greater than my father's, Ize said while looking at the sky. Ize said, It's soon the land will be dominated by me, and I will do what my father never could. I will kill all the Saiyans once and for all, and when that happens, there will be no one in this world who can stop me. Not even you, my dear father. Ize thought while smiling in a hideous way.
on planet 127. Currently on the planet where the Ize project was being done, it was possible to see Ize sitting on a chair while drinking a cold drink while waiting for his ship to be ready for them to leave for another planet where Ize could unleash his power and conquer his first planet. A soldier spoke, Mr. Ize, your spaceship is ready to leave. Now we are waiting for his orders, said one of Frieza's soldiers approaching and kneeling before Frieza's son. Ize said, it's finally ready. Let's go right now to some planet with good resources and strong warriors so I can dominate and make my first and main base. Ize ordered the soldier in front of him. Soldier said, yes, Lord Ize. The scientists were in charge of finding planets that meet your needs. Probably they must already have the information of these planets and they must already be in your spaceship, said the soldier still kneeling in front of Ize. Ize said, stand up and show me where my ship is. I'm really excited to be able to face some really strong warriors and I'm looking forward to creating my own empire, an empire that will be even more powerful than my father's, said Ize while putting the cup he used on the table. The soldier said, immediately my lord, please follow me, said the soldier getting up and then heading towards Ize's spaceship. The scientist said, Mr. Ize, my colleagues and I managed to find three planets with warriors with great fighting power and with many natural resources. Each of them would be perfect for you to dominate and maybe create your first base, said the scientist as he looked and knelt down in the presence of Ize. Ize said, so come on. Even today I will master these three planets, said Ize as he got into the spaceship and soon the spaceship started flying towards one of the three planets his scientist found. On a planet far away, Currently, it was now possible to see a spacecraft flying in the orbit of a planet far away from planet 127. This being Ize's spacecraft, which soon entered the planet's atmosphere and soon reached the ground where they were received by several beings from that planet. Without further ado, Ize got out of his spaceship, being followed by some of his father's soldiers. Alien One said, Who are you and what do you want on our planet? One of the beings from that planet spoke to Ize and his soldiers. The soldiers said, we are Emperor Frieza's soldiers, and today your planet was chosen to serve Lord Ize, the son of Emperor Frieza. So feel honored by that, said one of Frieza's soldiers to the group of aliens from the place they stayed quite annoyed by what they heard. Alien number two said, Who do you think you are? We will not serve anyone. We are the Zakiran, tribal warriors, and we serve no one but our king. You will have to fight our king, and if you win, we will obey whoever defeats our king screamed one of the local aliens while looking at Frieza's soldiers and to Ize, who upon hearing that was very happy. Ize said, So you will only obey me if I defeat your king? Ize spoke in a mocking tone to the aliens who got even more angry. Alien 3 said, That's right, but don't even try to do that. Our king is too powerful, and you seem to be too weak to defeat our king. One of the local aliens spoke, making everyone else scream for their king. Ize thought, they think this king is very powerful, but I almost don't feel his power, so he's too weak or he's too far away. Well, anyway, I just need to defeat this king. In fact, I'm going to kill him in the most brutal way possible, Ize thought with a psychotic smile on his face. The soldier said, enough of this joke. Bring your king soon so that our lord Ize defeats him at once, and when that happens, you will see the true strength of Emperor Frieza's son, said the soldier in front of his group, and then everyone. The other soldiers started screaming Frieza and Ize's name. Ize thought, I hate this. I hate being compared to my father. I, Ize, will be more powerful than my father, and in the future this whole universe will know my name, and I will be feared by all universes. Thought Ize, while listening to his father's name being shouted by Frieza's soldiers, while Frieza felt angry at himself compared to his father. The tribe elder said, Enough is enough. A very old gentleman compared to the other aliens came out. It was the tribe elder. The elder said, If you want to challenge our king, then get ready, because at dusk of the same day you will face our king. And I already advance one thing. It will be a fight to the death. So the moment you enter the arena, you will only go and leave if you win. The tribe elder spoke to Ize, who was very happy for such information. Ize said, Don't worry, elder. I would already kill him even if it wasn't a fight to the death. So I wish your king, enjoy this day, because by the next dusk, he won't be alive anymore," said Ize with an evil smile on his face, something that made the elders scared by such evil that Ize exuded from himself. The tribe elder said, Who is this being? 
He was so much evil energy inside of him. He even looks like a demon created to destroy and conquer, to be honest. I don't think our current king will be able to defeat this guy. But rules are rules, so whoever wins, I will serve with the my body and soul," thought the elder as he looked at Ize and then left the place. The soldier said, Lord Ize, why didn't you kill them? Since you have gigantic power, it would be easy for you to kill each of them, asked one of Frieza's soldiers beside Ize. Ize said, simple, this race is a warrior race and I like the governance model. So I decided to follow the rules of this people. After all, I want to fight someone strong and fighting their king should be enough to satisfy my will. And in this way, I take the opportunity to rule this world. Ize spoke to the soldier and soon he along with his soldiers entered his spaceship and will return to space. Now with Frieza. Frieza said, Counselor, how is the conquest of my son and his first planet? Asked the curious emperor. The counselor said, everything is going very well, my lord. Apparently, your son Ize arrived on your first planet, and there are several beings who considered themselves a warrior race inhabited. So instead of Ize destroying and conquering all at once, he chose to fight against the king of those beings for him to become the new king, said the counselor to her emperor. Frieza said, so he didn't just want to destroy everything and conquer? Apparently, the Saiyan blood that runs in his veins is making him want to fight this king said Frieza with one of his hands on his chin while looking at the image of his son in a holographic screen. The counselor said, That's right, my lord, but that's an advantage. After all, the more Lord Ize fights and the more he gets hit, the stronger he will become. And the stronger he becomes in a short time, the faster you can take revenge on those Saiyans, said the woman while looking at Frieza, who upon hearing this gave a smile. Frieza said, Really? In a short time, I will be finally able to kill Son Goku and dominate that planet Earth," said Frieza, already imagining himself conquering planet Earth and crossing Son Goku's chest. Frieza thought, Become strong, my son. After all, you will be my greatest asset in the battle against the Saiyans. And after them, I will kill Beerus, and I will become the strongest in this universe. And after you buy all my goals, I will eliminate you. And with that, I won't have any being that has enough strength to defeat me," thought Frieza, while smiling as he imagined a future where the entire seventh universe would be at his feet. With Ize, currently it was possible to see Ize inside his spaceship preparing for his fight against the King of Zakiren. Soldier said, Sir Ize, are you sure you want to face this King of Zakiren? Asked the soldier while looking at his lord. Ize said, of course, I'm sure to face this king, but why are you asking me this? Do you think this king will be able to defeat me? Ize asked, turning around and looking at the soldier. The soldier said, No, my lord, on the contrary, I'm sure you'll be able to defeat him. But I think you shouldn't fight him. Not because he's weaker, but because he's too strong. It wouldn't be good, my lord, if you were to fight a mere insect like this king, spoke the soldier with conviction in his voice, because of his master's strength, something that attracted Ize's attention, which made him very excited. Ize said, You are really someone who knows how to say things the right way. Really, I shouldn't get my hands dirty with a mere insect like that king of the Zakirans. But I accepted the invitation to this duel, and I cannot deny a fight. But I really like the way you spoke, and for that reason I will make you my new main general from now on, said Ize while looking at his soldier, who was so happy for his promotion. He was so happy that he immediately kneeled down in front of Ize. The general said, Thank you very much, my lord. I promise that I will be very useful to you, and I will do my best to fulfill your orders as best as possible, Lord Ize," said the soldier very happy with his promotion while kneeling in front of Ize. Ize said, That's what I hope. But now it's time for me to face the king of the Zakirens. And by the way, prepare all the soldiers, in case they don't obey me after I defeat their king. My soldiers can kill each one of them but not all of them. I will want some citizens to do the menial work," spoke Ize to his general. The general said, Yes, my lord, I will send your soldiers positioned at some strategic points of the place so we can have maximum control over those beings," said the new general to Ize, who was surprised by the way he spoke. Ize said, Look, I barely gave you the position of general, and you already managed to make me surprised by the way you said it. Do it the same way you just said it, 
but do it in a discreet way, so you don't scare them, said Ize soon leaving from the location quickly, and soon entered a smaller ship, and soon arrived at Zakirin's village. Now at Zakirin village, Elder of the tribe said, Today my companions will have a duel, and whoever wins will be the new leader of this planet. From this right comes toward us we have the son of Emperor Frieza, the conqueror of planets, the one who is said to be as strong and imposing as the father. I present the challenger for the title of King, Lord Ize, spoke the elder of the tribe, introducing Ize for the title of King of Zakirin. After the tribe elder said that, Ize got out of his spaceship in an imposing manner, while some soldiers accompanied him. The tribe elder said, And on the other side, we have the one we already know, our current king of our tribe. For more than five years, the one who managed to defeat and kill the ancient king, the merciless and all-powerful Osiris, introduced the elder of the tribe, while being similar to him, only much younger, and with a very large and defined body, came out of a tent, that Osiris being the current king of Zakirin. Osiris said, So you're the one who challenged me. Don't you think you're too short and weak to challenge me? The king of Zakirin spoke in an arrogant way that made Ize so nervous that his head veins throbbed with anger. Ize thought, Who does this idiot think he is to call me short and weak? I promise I'll kill this guy. But before that, I'll humiliate this guy myself in the worst possible way thought Ize, kind of annoyed that he was going to humiliate his opponent. Elder of the tribe said, So now we will start this duel between Ize and Osiris, and the one who wins will be our new king. And to define a winner, the beggar has to admit his defeat, or he will be killed. That being said, the duel begins, said the tribe elder starting the combat between the two warriors. After starting the duel, quickly Osiris advances towards Ize, Soon he tried to grab Ize, who, realizing what he wanted, jumped up to dodge the attack. But this was something Osiris already expected, and so he focused his attention. His key in his mouth, he began firing a beam of energy towards Ize. But thanks to Ize's great speed, he was able to easily evade the attack. The moment Ize touched his feet to the ground, he shot at high speeds towards Osiris and punched him in the face, causing the current king to be dragged a little away. Osiris thought, what the hell, as these damn men managed to dodge my attack and even punched me. It looks like I'll have to fight little more seriously, thought Osiris as he wiped his mouth that half greenish blood was coming out of. After recovering from Ize's blow, Osiris began to release more energy, making his body grow even more, and all his veins started to pulse and jump out of his body. And after a few seconds, he was stronger than before, and that was it. It caused several of the tribe's members to start screaming his name and giving him more encouragement. Ize thought, Wow, so this new transformation made him stronger than before. Now it's getting interesting. The more I fight this guy, the stronger I can become, thanks to Son Goku's DNA. Thought the boy Ize excited to continue his fight against Osiris, who was now wearing a very arrogant smile. Now with his new transformation, Osiris advanced with everything on top of Ize, who didn't have a quick reaction enough and ended up receiving a punch from Osiris that threw him away. But when he was going to get up, Osiris appeared in front of him and started to push the enemy away. His body all over the place, and when he was satisfied, he threw Ize's body up and fired a blast of energy through his mouth at Ize. After that blow, everyone already thought that the battle was over, so the Zakirin began to celebrate the victory of their king while the Ize soldiers thought that their lord had lost the battle. But they still believed in Ize, and this was their general. The general thought, Everyone thinks that Lord Ize has already been defeated, but I'm sure he won't be defeated just with that. After all, he's Emperor Frieza's son, and he wouldn't be defeated by a mere insect like that. The current thought of Ize's general while looking at the location that was completely destroyed. While Osiris was showing himself to the public at that place, he didn't even notice two energy blows coming toward him and piercing his leg, and another one in his shoulder. Soon after, Osiris felt a lot of pain because of the energy attack. He did the same, turned and found Ize with a very happy face, and he didn't have any wounds on his body. Ize thought, I admit your blow was strong, 
but you're too arrogant to think that a mere key attack would kill me. A little tip. Before celebrating the victory, make sure your opponent was really defeated. But don't be worried after all. You will die here and right now. Ize said while walking towards Osiris. That coming Ize towards him, the only thing he does is fire an energy blast from his mouth towards Ize, who ended up receiving the attack. But even getting that attack, Ize didn't feel anything and continued to walk towards Osiris. And after getting in front of him, Ize started to do several punches and kicks to take out some of his anger. So he grabs Osiris' head and starts rubbing all over the place just as Osiris had done to him and then threw him into the sky. Ize spoke, now die. Firing a large energy blast from his finger at Osiris, that was the end of the current king. After Osiris was defeated by Ize, everyone in the place was very surprised and some shocked by the way it all happened. But soon the tribe elder went to the middle of the arena and stood by Ize's side. The elder of the tribe spoke, By the laws of our tribe, I declare that Ize is our new king. The elder of the tribe said, and soon Frieza's soldiers began to celebrate the victory of their new lord. But some of the Zakirin didn't like that at all. Zakirin once said, It seems that we are to accept someone else as our king. One of the Zakirin spoke, and soon all the others started to oppose Ize for being elected the new king. Until Ize's general intrudes and kills all the Zakirin with a key attack. General said, Lord Ize won from your king in a fair and clean way. If you all want to die here, speak now or choose to obey Lord Ize. Ize still followed his laws of the planet, so whoever opposes my lord will pay with his own death. Ize's general spoke in an imposing manner that made the Zakirin fear for their lives, and soon they all knelt before Ize. Ize thought, I think making him my general was an excellent decision. He is not afraid of death and kills without a second thought. If he is trained properly, he will be my most powerful in my army. Ize thought it looked at the general, who was now kneeling in front of him. And that is how Ize, the son of Frieza, conquered his first planet. But things didn't end there, because now planet Earth is in danger. And only Goku can stop this threat with his Super Saiyan 10. With that, we've come to the end of today's video. If you want to see the continuation of this incredible story, leave a lot of likes on the video and comment, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. So, until another day, guys.